Hello you lovely people, welcome to Everything Crochet and More. I am your host Ethel Patel and this is the part 1 of our Crochet the Sona centerpiece. Let's begin. I will be taking a 2.5 mm crochet hook along with a size 10 cotton thread and we will be needing about 200 grams to 220 grams of thread. So without any further ado, Let's begin. We'll begin with a slip knot like so. That done followed by chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six chains done. Now we'll be making we'll be making a ring. By making a slip stitch in the first chain stitch. So put your hook in that first chain stitch. Like so. And pull thread through. Like so making a slip stitch. With this we finish making our 6 chain foundation ring. Now that done let's begin with our round 1. Round 1 begins with chain 1. And put your hook in in the six chain ring like so and make a single crochet that done followed by chain one and again put your hook in that same chain six ring like so and make a single crochet that done again chain one put your hook in the same chain six ring and a single crochet so now three single crochet stitches and two chain one spaces done. Like so, we'll be making in total, we'll be making 12 single crochet stitches with chain one space between each and every one of them. So we'll be making 12 single crochet stitches and 12 chain one spaces. So now third single crochet done followed by our third chain one space. Like so, we'll be making nine more such repetitions of single crochet and chain one spaces so let's continue fourth single crochet fourth chain one space fifth single crochet fifth chain one space sixth single crochet sixth chain one space now let's push them together like so making space followed by seventh single crochet seventh chain one space followed by eighth single crochet eighth chain one space again push them together like so followed by ninth single crochet ninth chain one space followed by tenth single crochet tenth chain one space followed by 11th single crochet 11th chain one space followed by 12th single crochet and 12th chain one space now that done now we'll finish our round one with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch so here is our first as you all can see here I want you can put a marker on the first single crochet stitch so here is our first chain one and our first single crochet so put your hook in that single crochet stitch and make a slip stitch like so now that done with this, we finish with our round one. And this is what it looks like. Now that done. Now let's begin with our round two. Now our round two is nothing but a single crochet stitch on each and every single crochet stitches of the previous round. Followed by chain two spaces between them. So let's begin with chain one. Like so, put your hook in that same single crochet stitch. 
like so and a single crochet that done followed by chain two one and two and skip the next chain one space and put your hook in the next now here as you can see the chains chain one space is really small so here so it is possible that we might miss it now here put your hook in the next single crochet stitch and a single crochet again chain 2 put your hook in the next single crochet stitch like so and make a single crochet followed by again chain 2 and put your hook in the next single crochet stitch and a single crochet and followed by again chain 2 so here as you all can see we finished with 1 2 3 and 4 4 repetitions of single crochet and chain 2 so we we'll follow so 4 done 8 more to go so let's finish the remaining 8 repetitions of single crochet on the next single crochet stitch followed by chain 2 8 more times to finish with our round 2 so let's finish with our round 2 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and our last chain 2 space is done. Now let's finish our round 2 with a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So put your hook in that first single crochet stitch like so and make a slip stitch. With this we finish with our round 2. So let's adjust all the stitches like so now that done let's begin with our round three and our round three begins with a slip stitch in the first chain two space of the previous round so put your hook in the first under this first chain two space like so and make a slip stitch that done followed by chain one and put your hook under the same chain two space like so and make a single crochet that done followed by chain three one two and three and put your hook under the next chain two space like so and make a single crochet that done followed by again chain three and put your hook under the next chain two space and make a single crochet that done followed by chain 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. That done. Now put your hook under the next chain 2 space and make a single crochet followed by with this we finish with the first repetition of our round 3. So we'll be repeating this 3 more times to finish with our round 3. So the next repetition I'll show you all on camera and the next two I'll be making off camera. So let's begin with chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. A single crochet in the next chain 2 space followed by again chain 3 and a single crochet in the next chain 2 space followed by chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So with this we finish with our second repetition. Now we begin our third repetition with a single crochet in the next chain 2 space followed by chain 3 followed by again a single crochet in the next chain 2 space followed by chain 4 so with that we'll finish with our third repetition so like so we'll be making the remaining two repetitions of camel so let's finish making the remaining two repetitions so the remaining two repetitions are done so here we have our fourth, fourth chain 4 loop here. So let's finish our round 3 with a slip stitch in the first single crochet like so. Now that done with this, we finish with our round 3 and this is what it looks like with 
4 chain four loops so 1 2 3 4 and 2 chain 3 loops between each chain 4 loop so as you can see 1 2 1 2 1 2 and 1 2 so in round 3 we must have 4 chain 4 loops and 8 chain 3 loops so with this we finish with the part 1 of our crochet the sona doily and so if you like what you see then please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions for us leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next part of this video tutorial until then take care bye bye and as always happy crocheting